today I have a trailer project. A little snow on the ground still. But today's supposed to be 55 before the next storm comes in. When I was using my trailer in December, I had these stabilizer arms down below here and, and I didn't pick them up before I backed up the trailer and I ended up uh, busting the one over there. And I noticed that this one's a little hurt right here. Um, I can just tack weld that and that'll fix that um, from falling down. But the goal today is to take that other one off over there and weld it on just a new one like this. It was a lot cheaper to buy a new one than it was to uh, try to bother fixing the other one. And then I've taken this trailer in a few gnarly places. And I have a flip jack down here, but you can see that I've bent it. So I'm thinking about clipping off those corners because they kind of get in the way anyway. They hang down kind of low. And then, in addition, you can see I've torn up this back strip on both sides. See that? And what I've discovered is that when I take this thing off to rough road, it's rarely ever hitting these, and uh, it's typically dragging out here. Uh, if I can get this pointed up. You can see I've, I've dinged this up. Um, what I want to do is I want to put a couple of skid plates on these back corners. Just weld it to this and this, and uh, that should take that. And then in the future, I might add some wheels or something like that, some trailer wheels. But I'll have to retrim this with some aluminum once I get some, but I'll just take this off, straighten that, put my uh, skid plates on, and I think we should be good. Here's how bad I munched it up when I dinged it up and then I lost the bottom foot. Here's the new part. See how nice it's supposed to look? Let me open it up. See how it's not munched? Let's see if I can give myself a little more light. You guys. Anyway, I got to take the paint off of this so I can uh, weld that and then uh, be ready to weld. I'm gonna try to weld it out here a little bit further so I can get the other side easily too. There it is. If I ever have to cut this off again, doing something stupid like I did before, I can just cut those like I did and rip it off. The welds on the other side weren't super secure as far as welding into this because I couldn't get... The, actually, no, I was thinking it was this. Because I couldn't get the correct angle, but I can see that I burned it in a little bit, so... It's stable enough for what this is. Leg pops, pops down like that. And then... I can't do this too one-handed. Pull this up, pull this down, and it retracts and holds back like this. Now the other one, you can see I bent the edge of that. I didn't realize that. And then uh, it's a little munched in this area right, right here. 
I need to uh, pull that down and, and maybe just tack weld it. I don't think I'll show that one on camera though because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Looking at it on from this side, I might replace it too. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you can see that this is a little torn up. So if I pull that down, you can see it got ripped away. I think what I'll do is I'll just straighten it and tack it and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll, it retracts fine. It just doesn't hold because that's torn up. Probably have to fix it on both sides, but I'll just do that. I don't think I'll show it though because it's hard enough to reach in this area. I'm, I'll probably have my daughter come out and hold this down and I'll just tack weld it. Sorry about all the horrible camera movements. It's just hard when I'm under the trailer here. So if I pull this, this weld looks worse than the other side, but I just tack welded that piece of bent metal up there and now the same thing on the other side. And use one hand, two hands, and then if I pull this back, that locks up there nice and tight now. So this stabilizer, I don't need to replace. That fix works for it, so. Okay, here's the flip jack from the trailer. As you can see, it does a nice job of catching the rocks and stuff like that. At least in some of the places that I go. So I think what I'm gonna do is trim off this at an angle, take off this front, and probably even trim this back at an angle just to match. Um, the flip jack will still do the job that I want it to with all of that stuff missing on the front. Um, just won't no longer snag rocks and boulders and, and things like that because I take the trailer off trail, so. Okay, here it is as it sits under the trailer it would sit like this so those wings that got bent before are now off at least the one that was bent and then I uh, as you saw welded this I took the wire wheel to it and cleaned up some of the uh, powder coating that had come off due to the welding and the heat and a little bit down in there right down there and what I'll do is I'll just throw some paint on it so that I can help kind of prevent it from rusting, you know. Obviously it's going to get beat up some more, but hopefully that prevents it from getting torn up some more. So underneath the trailer, here's what we have going on. You can see the support frame is over here. There's a little bit of C-channel right here and a little bit of an angle iron or maybe a C-channel there. So this, and I'm doing a poor job at lining it up within the camera. This will basically go on like this. I'll weld it here, maybe along this edge a little bit, um, a couple spots maybe on this back. 
I'm not sure yet. I'll just weld it on, and then I need to retrim this stuff. I need to probably go buy some aluminum or something. Retrim this little edge. I need to still straighten that. Okay, here it is. I ground down the metal. Preparation for welding. Left some gaps right in here. I'll do some tiny little welds in here, but the bulk of the weld will be right back here, right here, and maybe one right over here. It'll be hard to film. This one's got a bit of a gap, and that's just because the metal is a little bit further down here. So I'm just going to clamp that up and then just weld it. I don't even think I'll bother painting those, but those skid plates will just help this stuff from getting torn out. I've, it's happened a couple of times. I'm just tired of it tearing out. Okay, here's the flashing on there. Like I said, I didn't need L-shape to go underneath it because that's where my skid plate is and I don't want anything to get caught and pulled off again. This just dresses up that bottom edge of this metal back here. Keeps it from getting snagged. Here's the flip jack back on the driveway. Um, the driveway slope, that's why this is so close to the ground, but it's normally a, you know another 12 inches or so off the ground. But you can see how the this used to drag below and it would just snag stuff. It was uh, 
one of the lowest points of the trailer other than maybe these aren't part of the arms right here on these levelers but now that that's gone I feel much better about it here's the trailer it's a 20 foot trailer minus the tongue attached to the back of the truck this thing's actually pretty long with those tandem axles makes it pretty nice to go on some uh, off-roads and rocky areas things like that if I didn't have tandem axles I think it would have been a lot harder with the tandem I can float all sorts of stuff so all the work I've been doing though has been down on this end mostly other than the flip jack the stabilizer arms are like right there and then I've been on the back end 